Hi to all, in this video I will teach you about file directory authorizations in Linux systems. Linux is a multi-user operating system. Multiple users can access the system at the same time. The existence of such a feature may also cause an undesired or malicious user to corrupt, modify or remove important data. In order to prevent such situations, authorization in Linux systems is divided into two levels, file folder ownerships and file folder authorizations. Let's talk about ownerships first. There are some owner types, user, group, and other. User is the owner of the file. By default, when the file is first created, the person who created it becomes its owner. A group can contain multiple users. All users belonging to a group will have the same access permissions to a file or directory. Imagine you have a project where several people need access to a file. Instead of individually defining permissions to each user, you can add all users to a group and assign group permissions to a file or directory. Other defined as any other user who access to a file. Here we can see Kali user is the owner of a1.txt file and learn with me user is the owner of the a2.txt file. They are both belong to the same group which is Kali. If we type ls-lsa we can see dot and dot dot just like a file. Dot represents the current directory. So when you create a file in here its default group will be the same with the current directory's group information, unless otherwise stated. So, these are all belong to the Kali group. You can change owners of the file or folders at this point, only if you have administration rights. We will use chown command, so let's change the owner of a1.txt file to root. sudo chown means change owner root a1.txt So, a1's owner is Kali right now. Let's enter. Enter the password, which is default Kali. Yes, now type ls-lsa again. Now, owner of the a1.txt file is root. If you want to change the user and group information at the same time, type sudo chown Kali colon video a2.txt ls lsa c owner is Kali previously it was learn with me and the group is video if you only want to change the group use ch group command instead ch group users temp Temp's group is Kali, but we are going to change this Kali group to users. Let's see. Enter. LSA. Now the group is users for the temp folder. Now let's talk about second part. That's clear. File folder authorization. When we type ls-lsa, we see some letters in here. If the first letter is D, it means that it is a directory. Otherwise, it is a file. Afterwards, first group of three letters show owner's permission. Second group of three letters show group's permission. And the last group of three letters show other user's permission. Each file and folder has three types of permissions, read, write, and execute. Read gives you permission to open and read a file. Write permission gives you the authority to modify the contents of a file. If this permission is given to a directory, you can add, remove, and rename the files stored in the directory. In a situation where you have write permissions to the file, but not the directory where the file is stored, you will be able to modify the file contents, 
but you cannot rename, move, or remove the file from the directory. Execute permission allows you to execute a file, but we can't execute directories, right? So, if only this permission given to a directory, it allows users to only list that directory items. You won't be able to read or write the files inside it. You can change permissions with chmod command. Let me write it. Easiest way to do this is with numerical values. Read permissions numerical value is 4. Write permissions numerical value is 2. Execute permissions numerical value is 1. So, if you want to give full permissions to user, group, and other people, you should type chmod 777a2, let's say, .txt. First 7 is for user. Second is for group. And the last one is for other people. You can try the combinations on your own and comprehend this topic. Let's look at this. As you see, a2.txt now have full permissions for everyone. But it was read write for user, read for group, and read for other people. We have changed these permissions with chmod command. Another way to change permissions is by symbolic values. You will better understand this topic with an example at the end. At first, let me define the terms. Operators. Plus operator adds permission. Minus operator deletes permission. Equal operator sets the permission and overrides previously set permissions. Expressing people types. U, user. G, group. O, other. A, to all. To add execute rights for owner, I mean user, and the group, type chmod u for user, g for group, plus add permission, x execute permission, space, the file name, enter, ls-lsa. As you see, we have now added execute permission for owner and the group. Group doesn't have write permission, as you see, and the other people only have read write. This video is over. See you on another video.